this one going to talk about true and false labor the difference between true labor and false labor sorry because most of the time when you are sitting in your setup you get the patients having pain in abdomen pregnant patients at that point of time you need to really identify labor is the is a true labor so that and treat further like that but if it is a false labor you can just reassure the patient and the patient can go home and come again when she develops more and more pains now so it's very important to identify the difference let's let's see for difference in true labor the cervical dilation and effacement is present while in false labor it is absent the frequency and duration of the contraction they are in normal labor they are regular with increasing okay but when in the false labor the contractions are not regular if we see the quality of pain in normal labor or true labor the pain starts in the lower abdomen place okay where in false labor the lower abdomen pain is only there it cannot radiate in. okay now bag of water that means amniotic fluid bag if it is formed then you have to labor and you need to admit the patient right now show the presence of so makes very clear cut that the that the process of true labor has been started and you just can't let patient go and you have to admit the patient and treat further according to the situation now if we give relief uh, measures like sedation analgesics enema it does not have any effect if the labor is of true nature okay so yes you need to again admit the patient so this makes very clear cut uh, difference between a true labor and a face a uh, false labor now one thing i need to you to understand the mechanism of labor what is the mechanism at the when the pregnancy achieves the term the placenta starts decreasing crh crh is the hormone CRH will go and act on fetal pituitary and with this effect pituitary will start secret uh, acting on adrenal gland with the help of ACTH the adrenal gland glands will start secreting DHEA sulfate and this this androgens will go to the placenta again where it is converted to the estrogen and this estrogen actually increases the oxytocin receptors on the myometrium of the uterus and that makes them to really really uh, response to even minor qualities or minor quantities of oxytocin and they got starting contractions so this is how the normal labor happens 